Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mecha Jammer with me, Frank and Don. So we are going to go this way because I want to go northwest. It looks like that's where Old Town connects to where we're currently at. It's going to be slow going since we are injured, but again, I don't think it's worth using a med kit for that little bit of injury right there. Just take our time, make sure we don't miss anything as we wander. There we go. This looks promising. I go to quick save. Oh, there's enemies ahead. I'm gonna equip a knife. Oh, need to repair. Meant to equip. Few enemies. Oh, jungle dogs. All right. They feel a little better. Jungle dogs are a low tier threat, or at least they should be, since they were something we fought. On our way to three hand Harry's. Another enemy ahead. Where'd he go? This is not turning in the direction that I want it to, but we'll see where it goes. What? I must hit a trap that I can't see. So back in the bottom of the facilities, but on the back side of it. So maybe this is the way we have to go. I'll try and sneak, but we're injured, so I don't think it's going to be very effective. It's quick save of every opportunity. I saw an enemy close by. I figured I didn't have a key for that. Don't aggro anybody. I don't know. I guess these are all just workers. It's kind of creepy how they just stand there. Look, we have some consoles up here. Oh, I see. That was easy. So was it? Blue, orange, red, green? I don't remember what order I clicked that in. I got lucky. Yeah, this feels like the way forward. Jammed. There we go. Nothing old swing of the fist can't take care of.
a key. Hey, there's a key. A training chip? Yes, please. Oh, I'll jump the ground. Give me that. I'm gonna pop this. Uh, we're gonna put this into impact. Give us a third dice. Or third die. Three dice. Or a third die. I think the key works. He does not work on this one. What about lockpick. I think Rado's lockpicking has gotten worse. Let me just select him. Make sure they're following me. Cool. Go ahead and do the old quick save. Enemy ahead. Oh. Boss? What? Hey, who let you in my office? What is it you want? An alliance, why not? Hmm, an interesting offer. You take me by surprise. I'm not unimpressed. And you seem to have wreaked minimal havoc on my workers. Very well, I agree. The bottlers will serve as your guard if you need them. You can rent them out for a small fee. They'll bring their own supplies, too. You're that earthy that killed three-hand Harry, eh? I'll send someone to your base. Talk to her when you need her aid. But not me, eh? My workers and I are busy. Like you. We'll all stay out of each other's way. Okay, so I just got an ally. So I assume I can hire mercenaries back at base. From his envoy? Oh, this is a, a faction bar, isn't it? I was wondering what this represented, because we saw this down in the medical shop, so I'm assuming the medical shop guys are also a faction. Faith wants to meet in Old Town Apartments again. Room 641. So we have this information already. So this is the second indication we should go see Faith in the Old Town Apartments. And there's another generator with a vault door. Interesting. So yeah, I feel like she's tied to these generators. Somehow. A bottler's note. A bottling manufacturing services records. Order number 5193. From Quentin Industries. 15 cases grade 2 explosives and 42 cases grade 1 explosives. Your bill. Pay to Bodily Manufacturing Services. The amount of 2,000 won dunes due on receipt of shipment. A please note that timely failure to pay some will result in the dispatch of Bodily Manufacturing Collection Services. So yeah, I assume that we'd be able to recruit the guys in the medical shop then. If that one guy could talk to me. Keeps trying to, and it just it doesn't work, so. So I assume that we can now walk around this area with impunity, and we won't be attacked by that guy at the gate. Which he may not have attacked us to begin with, had I not tried to break it down. That, that may be my fault. But sadly, this is not the way that we needed to go. Oh, another trap. A ton of traps here, right? These guys aren't patrolling up here anymore. I was going to see if I could recruit them from this location as well, but I guess not. By the way, that's pretty neat. So do we need to... I guess we need to go further back.
we go this way, we just won't go north here. We'll just keep walking to the west. Or back down this way. And again, I won't do more thorough exploration. I just want to be better equipped. I want to have a better baseline for my character. We'll definitely be a lot more thorough. I might do some of it off camera. There does seem to be a lot of dead ends and stuff like that, but we'll see. We'll see where the game takes us. I'm excited about the potential of hiring more people to follow me around, though. I think that guy had a gun equipped, uh, the bottle that we had spoken to earlier, so it's possible. We'll actually get some ranged companions. Fancy bunch of rats. Come here. Alright. I want out of here. Let me jump. That's all rats. Are they? Oh, they're all in that room. Okay. I see. Uh, please let me back across. There we go. Oh, they're coming for us. I kind of want to stay a little back. Dog's getting a little beat up. Oh, there's more than rats in here. There's also spiders. I mean, there's a ton of them, though. That were kind of my favorite. If I take enough damage, I can use a med kit. Fix my legs and get around a little faster. Should be quite alright with me. Just keeping an eye on all my companions' health don't want them to go down. But we're not in combat anymore, right? Let's say we are. They're attacking something. There we go. Alright, cool. Oh, well, sadly, we don't get the opportunity to use a med kit. Wait, I didn't finish exploring this place. Let's get back. Uh, he's a little. Actually, two of them. Three of them? Yeah, two of them have injuries. Rado and one of our dogs. This is going to take a minute. Why is the rubble exploding off that door? Well, even if we don't get back to headquarters this episode, we made uh, made some progress. I mean, we recruited the bottlers. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can hire an infinite amount. Like, so long as you have money to hire them, you can just keep hiring more bottlers from the, uh... The person he sent to our base.
You're fighting on the other side of this. Oh, it just takes us back outside. All right, well. We'll go back this way then. Yeah, I wouldn't mind finding a car to drive. I speed things up a little bit. Across the bridge. So we're back on South Street. Cool. Some cars here. I'm actually going to grab one of these. Not worried about them. They'll, uh, they'll afford to me as I need them to. Let me try hacking that. There was a dog trying to hack this? <laughs> now what's this? Is like a store? It is a store owner. You break it, you buy it. Well, look at that. Gas mask. Flashlight? That'd probably be handy for, like, when we were down fighting all those mutants. Is this a rope? Yeah, it is a rope. That counts as a chain weapon? Repair kit. Rations, cigarettes. Don't care about that. Radiation detector. What is this thing? Drone tools. Care for that either. We do have some cigarettes we can sell. So I'm not a smoker. I kind of I want to buy the rope just to see. It counts as a uh, chain weapon. I have another trading chip. Don't know where I got that one from. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, maybe you're giving them to you as quest rewards, but... Two of them we've had to pick up out of lockers. In certain areas, so like in the bottler facility and at Three Hand Harry's. So they're usually located around... Boss characters of some kind. Uh, the gas mask might come in handy. I don't know if we'll need it, but... Oh, we can't afford it. Or we still have the room for it. Okay. Can I move these? I can't afford it. Okay, how about... No? Okay. We'll shoot. How about this? This might come in handy. Flashlight? Alright, so we have a flashlight and we have a rope. I swap these two out. I'll put the keys up here as well. Keep all the important stuff up here. Let's see, we have more guns. I don't care for guns, so we'll just keep selling what we can to him. I really want this. We don't we can't afford it. Alright, so we just have to remember this guy's here. We'll come back here for the uh Oh wait, was he right beside the lone guy? No, it's another merchant. So he sells a knife, flashlight. Lightning rod that allows you to pick up your companions if they die. Uh, drone tools don't really care for that. I'd rather sell the guns, honestly. We have 66 wandoons. 
Not a ton. I can't move his inventory around. Shoot. Oh, here. Have a knife. I sell him some ammo. I don't even know what plasma charges are for, because we don't have a gun for that. Something like that. So we have 76. I wish it told you what the price was. Oh, never mind. It does when you hover. How much is this other thing? I'm excited. We finally found some merchants. Changes everything. Oh, 95. There's inventory reset when we left. Hey, we can afford it. All right, so I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. Should I save my money for... I'm sure we're fighting inside this place. I'd like to leave without catching on fire. I should probably be saving my money for impact weapons, but that might be okay. So wait, where are we at now? Old Town Plaza. So I went the wrong way. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. This should take us back towards HQ, right? Nope, more Old Town Plaza. this guy back here quick save uh, hey get lost don't need nobody snooping scavenger now your turf move it or I'm coming for you okay I'm gonna go in there anyway make any stop me He has a gun. I can damage over time, why? Oh, because of that injury. Well, that's done. Oh, he shot me twice. Shoot. <laughs> Doesn't have time to heal. I did not. Not usually that accurate. I'm also moving a little slower since I have that leg injury. I probably should heal it, but we'll get around to it. I just want to see what these guys are protecting. Oh, my dog! Yep, nope. Really loading that. Don't want him to die. Alright. I'm tempted to heal my leg injury just so I can charge this guy down. Don't die, buddy. Hold still. Alright. He's getting better. Alright, I was getting a little injured. It might be worth just going back to headquarters and having a uh, medic kill us up. There's three enemies here. I mean, they do have some loot. All right, you know what? So, actually, wait, you have one of these. Let's activate this. 
I'm gonna put it in social. I'm gonna start putting points towards that. Is blocking? I don't think I'm a fan of blocking. I regret putting points into it. I don't want to do this. There's only two over here. I lost Rado. Yeah, no. Not not losing Rado, man. Might have to come back here later. I might go get healed up by Doc. We'll come back here. I mean, this is where the merchants are at. I don't think I'm gonna miss it. Why is this guy right here? Why is he back? We're taking a slacking, and I'm not interested in taking a slacking. My car is gone. Shoot. <laughs> uh, don't eat rats. Swimming in the death water. Eat rat, you die. Don't eat rat, die. Alright, what is this guy talking about? The rats back here? There are rats back here. This is a much easier fight. So, I really do think going range was the better option here. As much as I like melee, they give you so many more resources for uh, range combat. Yeah, a little sidetracked. I should just be focusing on getting back to base. Everything else is secondary right now. Hey, some lockers. A throwing knife. bunch of them. Can we kill this guy please? Thank you. Oh, we'll see what's back here. Looks interesting. we go another locker some rats okay, we're not supposed to eat because swimming in the death water and die what was that I've been a little irresponsible not uh, plasma charges by not putting away my weapon when I'm breaking open crates plasma gun all right it's more than this sweet over here? I don't know if there's a reason to or not. Cool, we found two new weapon types back here. Exciting. Maybe I'll eventually have someone in my party who can use them. Oh, take a peek in here and then we'll get back on track. Start heading back towards um the base.
This is blocked off. These are when you see blocked off areas like this is a way to get to the other side. Doesn't seem to be the case this time. I don't know, maybe. Regardless, we need to get back on track. I want to go back, I want to talk to our fellows back at base. Then we're going to pursue Faith, the Old Town uh, Apartments. Now that we know, oh, some fruit and rats. Or chickens. Chickens. That's free healing. Gladly take that. Oh, back here. Everything is locked. Gosh. Yeah, I probably should have, instead of blocking, gone for lockpick, because I assumed that uh, blocking was a passive ability. Not something I had to actively use. So it's not going to be useful until we get Canadians with range weaponry. I assume. I don't know what the point of coming back here is. Okay. We have a couple more things we can do. Like going back to that little scavenger camp, which is located in Old Town Plaza. Also found some merchants finally, also located in Old Town Plaza, which is super exciting. That's an evangelist, isn't it? We'll just double check. Oh no, it's Arn! And he sells wrenches for 12. What else does he have? Drone tools, flashlight, this. Radiation detector. Well, either way, I'm willing to sell all of my knives for these wrenches. It's like the last one when we exit and talk to him again. He should get his stuff back, right? Yeah. Bye to you and you. Hello, wrench. Fancy wrench. But heck yeah, I'm gonna dump my inventory here. Where's this guy? Where are we at? Like on the bridge. Oh, North. I oh, was just called North Street. Between. Okay. North Street and Old Town Plaza. Good to know. We're not done selling him Ooh. stuff. Well, this is really cool, but yeah, we don't use two handed weapons. In fact, oh, he can't even buy it. Yes, he can. Or he won't let him buy it. How much does that cost? Yeah, it improves aim plus one. Hot dog. At this point, it might be worth just investing in more repair kits, honestly. Uh, you know what? That's probably enough wrenches for now. I'm also I'm making do being unarmed for a lot of it, so not a huge deal. So this should bring us back to I assume North Street. Oh, you don't want to fight, buddy. Not a fight you want to take, man. It's okay, so back to North Street, so we're right next to that. Oh. Yo, I just kept walking past the fight. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to call it here. We're almost back to base. We found a few interesting things. We made some progress. Finally found some merchants, uh, specifically one that sells equipment for us. 
And we also found uh, that scavenger camp I want to go check out later. We recruited the, the bottlers, I think. I'm going to go back and see how much they cost to recruit. And uh, yeah, we made it back to Old Town-ish. Yeah, North Street it counts as Old Town. This, is, this used to all be labeled as Old Town. So that's pretty sweet. All right, so I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we'll continue back to base, uh, speak to our companions, see what they have to say about the situation. And then we're going to try and track down Faith's apartment. That's our next, like, primary goal goal. Um, yeah, we'll see where that takes us. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.